Hello all to you game developers. Today we're going to learn on how to understand assets in Pewbox and how they're imported. And in this video we're just going to look at learning on how you can uh, do these things and work with all that accurate proportion with comes to Pewbox with your characters and everything. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. first thing we're going to do here is click on new so we're going to go on new there to can uh, so that we can have a new thing so that we can create something that's new so let's look for uh, a platform called platformer so platformer platformer there it is so you're going to select all this select select say select all that you're going to say create so after you say create uh, your new world is going to load up here with uh, new things there okay so wait for it to load up and you're good to go okay so that's it so that's my world there it's just loaded up and everything so what I'm gonna do here right, right now I'm gonna just X that there I don't need I didn't need these exactly I don't need that and uh, what I'm gonna do next here is click on my character then I'm gonna replace this character with something very new. So this is my dragon over here. So when it comes to understanding assets here, you're supposed to uh, look at the numbering and uh, where the animation flows. So we've got ideal jump and uh, actions like death and uh, shoot if you work in action type of games. But in here, my dragon right now, the only animation it has is ideal death and jump. And uh, before we start, uh, I want to show you something in Viewbox. If you look at this first part here, this part here is for the ideal. Ideal is just something that's standing still, but there's a movement that's going on there. So let's look at that example. So I'm just going to go back to my file over there. Then I'm going to select my ideal starting from 1 over here. So I'm going to select all that there. So select uh, all that. Select, 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 select. These are, these are a lot of ideas. Select all that. So just make sure you select everything. Select, select that, select that, select that, select that, and that. Okay, we're done. So now what you're gonna do next is to drag it into your view box thing. Okay, my view box is not loading up here. So what I'm gonna do next is just make my screen small like that. Then my tux bar will be able to come about. Okay next you're going to drag it here don't drag it on the wheel don't put a character just drag it over here so when you drag it on the default animation so wait for that to load up and we'll see what happens next we have our dragon right now on our stage right now so what I'm gonna do next is click on this the other thing you need to note about uh, important assets is when you replace a character if that was a circle that means the collusion shape will be a circle so we have to change that because this dragon and a circle so let's change that to polygon so that that would be okay so just zoom in just to have some correct accurate uh, measurements that there somewhere there move it to the other side I think it's gonna get that part over there okay that, I think I, I think I'm okay with the, that part there okay and uh, the wings just drop that down to the tail there that'll be okay for me okay so turn on the collusion shape so that's okay for me yeah so that's uh, the first part we've learned now second part here is let's look at how this is working if it's what we need okay yeah so it's ideal so you can see that it's very um, accurate if you can see uh, let me just try and uh, zoom in so you guys can be able to see that so just do this extend my camera so you can see that there so that's what happens to that part over there so you've you've uh, you've uh, first under task your first task and that's you've imported your first uh, uh, animated uh, character right there now secondly we want to work on this how to avoid this little white thing okay so now let's 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 work on that 
okay what you need to do for that there you need to go on character if you come here on animation that's the move animation it's a, it's a white circle so we need to replace that also so I'm gonna go back to my file okay so what you need you need to do right now is look for your uh, so what you need to do next here is look for your uh, movement and that's the walk so the walk starts from here that's zero zero one so you're going to select all that there so make sure you select everything and don't forget to just select everything after you have selected all this you need to drag this into your view box and put it under animation and remember not here animation so that's the move animation not divide animation no jump animation but the move animation okay so wait for that to load up we have our move animation let's just preview that okay so that's that look how his move is kidding we don't need that so let's let me show you how you can fix that up so what you need to do is come on character here move animation then what you need to do here as you can see your video here as are exactly just moving like that but it's not looped that's the problem here it's not looped so just that there and you fix the problem and that's all you need to do there when it comes to your move animation refresh that and your character will be all okay so and there you go we have our first step there we have now secondly we want a jump animation because look when it jumps it's like just like floating we need some cool animation so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna go back to my file and collect the jump animation okay this is my file right now so let's look for the jump animation with jump animation okay that's zero zero one so select all that select all the jump animation so after you select all that just, just get it just get it so uh, oh, walk that's walk so make sure you don't click on something that's different so yeah yeah so you have all that so remember drag that the old 12 assets so don't drag that don't drag that in because we forgot to select character then jump with jump with jump animation now we can go collect it okay jump animation so we're gonna wait for that and see what happens next okay we have our jump animation let's try that on now okay so start walk 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 jump jump okay jumping is not jumping when you select this is jumping so that's different from the way it was jumping at first that's even better okay so you have your first way you've got your first uh, way to make a game and you've understood on uh, importing uh, assets and that's our first asset was a character in our next video we'll look at objects and effects so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe.